Hey, guys. Hey guys, this is Dean on the scene with the Rochester, and I feel like a kid in the candy store. We got the Winslow, we got Kelly Williams, we got Dennis B Darius McCrary. Hey man, hey, hey, hey man, hold on. Let yeah. me say my name because y'all always mess it up. Sorry. Darius McCrary. He's Darius me. McCrary and Joe Marie Payton. Yeah. The Winslow's from Family Matters. Welcome to the interview, guys. It's so great to talk to you and honor to DMV talk to you. DMV in the house. DMV in the house. That's good work. Definitely homegrown here. Now, Family Matters has been around for 30 plus years, amassed over 2 billion streams on the Netflix. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the top 90s families, one of the best family sitcoms of all time. Why do you feel it has that staying power after all these years? Because family is important to everybody. And it doesn't have to be just your immediate family. It's anybody that's got your back and your well-being at heart. And people like that feel-good feeling to uh, somebody accepting them for who they are, whatever situation they're in, and still loving them unconditionally. And that's the kind of show Family Matters is. It, it, it's just like it named, Family Matters. Amen. And that's why people still love this show. Amen. And because it started out, it was a spinoff from her, and Perfect it started changes. out with that kind of love. Yeah. I think yes. if the impetus is love, Yes. then everything that follows after it, everything produces after its own kind. Amen. It's comfort food, man. It is definitely Soul comfort. food. Yeah, soul food. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. When definitely. you get some of that good macaroni and cheese, mm. good collard greens, <laughs> yeah. good macaroni get that, that, that good to smother <laughs> steak. You know what? That, that, that cornbread, <laughs> yep. yams. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm hungry, y'all. Uh, oh, I mean, you're just making me hungry right now. I only have bacon for uh, breakfast. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. So, turkey and gravy. Yes, turkey and gravy. Rice. Okay, okay. okay, okay. okay. Yes, We're going to have to go somewhere afterwards okay. to get somebody to eat. My bad. You guys have been through 90s Con, three days of fun. What was the fan interaction like being here? Especially, Joe Marie, you mentioned earlier, this was your very first convention, which I find very hard to believe. Mm -hmm. You know something? I kind of felt like, I felt magical because I felt the love was so strong between these me and these people. Mm -hmm. And it was like they were waiting for me to come and hug them. Mm. Yeah. I was happy for them to hug me. It, it made me more aware of how important it is that you respect and that you appreciate the people that appreciate you. Mm. Yes. It puts you in touch with people in a large scale that thought you were special or what you were doing, what you were involved in, the people you were with, gave them something that they could take and use mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and be happy with. But mama, and, uh, it's, it's it was COVID. just tremendous. It's COVID, it's, it's, COVID. We are, we, we, it's the end of COVID, so you can't be letting people get too close to you, mama. <laughs> Child, she, yes. ain't, she ain't listen to nothing, honey. She up there hugging people, no, no, giving back them up, recipes. Back up, hey, back up. I'm not backing up. Are you vaccinated? Listen, yes, I'm very vaccinated. Okay, all right. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm all vaccinated too. But even if I was an elder, and I don't want to get, I don't want to get religious on everything. I serve a God yes. that will keep you here as long as you're supposed to be here. That's right. Healthy Amen. people die every day. That's right. Yep. And there's some people ain't nothing wrong with them. They're gonna drop dead. That's right. You know? yeah. So I refuse to live in fear. That's right, Indeed. Mama. That's right. We're not born of fear. I refuse to live in fear. That's why there's nobody out there that I would be afraid to hug to talk to, to speak to, or to care for. That's right. Because I know there's a higher power than hate. Absolutely. And fear. Mm -hmm. And so that doesn't bother me. You want a hug? Yep. I got one for you, because guess what? I need one too sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely. And you talk Absolutely. about the, the reason why the show has been popular. Yeah. That's Starts because it top. comes from a real place. Yes, it does. Yes, you it feel does. it? I definitely feel it. Reminds me of mom almost trying not to cry here. Let me give you a little shout hug. I got one last question. <laughs> if I get through it. Since we're in 90s, kind, I always ask this question of the people I've interviewed. What was your favorite 90s moment? It could be a band, it could be a concert, it could be anything. What was your favorite moment of the nights, aside from Family Matters, of course? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't know. You need to ask them first. Let me think about it. All right. I was a big Bobby Brown fan, so probably all of his music from the 90s. She loved Bobby Brown. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, since she brought that up, I mean, other than hanging out with Tracy Spencer, <clears throat> uh, riding on Bobby Brown's tour bus. <laughs> hey, every group has to have a Bobby Brown. Bobby, I'm holding it down in your honor. <laughs> Absolutely. Are you Joe Marie? I, I think my, thinking back on it now, I was in my 40s, my early 40s. My favorite 90s moment was the fact that I was able to 
be able to do something special for my, my family mm. yes. because I was in a, a position of finance where I could buy my mom a new house mm -hmm. and I could send some kids to school yeah. and I didn't have to go to bed worrying about where my next meal was coming from. For me, yeah. it was to be able to thank God that he blessed a poor little girl out of Opalaka, Florida, uh, you know, to be able to do some of the things that I really wanted to do. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite moment, to be able to thank God for blessing me, to be able to do some of the things I needed to do and a lot of things I wanted to do. That was my favorite moment. Absolutely. Yeah. I think we can end this interview on that because I say you are a family to so many of us, and we appreciate you coming here and taking time to fix the schedule, and I'm trying not to cry out here. <laughs> <laughs>